Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of PBO plus NH3, which will yield PB plus N2 plus H2O. I already wrote down our little balancing chart here that's going to help us out, as well as the elements that I see on both the left and the right side. Let's just say how many we have of each element, and then we will start the balancing. Let's start with the left-hand side. So for lead, which is PB, I don't see any subscripts, which means that I only have one PB, and the same for oxygen. There's one oxygen, right? Coming down to the nitrogen, it's the same exact idea. So I only have one nitrogen, so I'm going to put a one here. But then for the hydrogen, I see that there's a three over here, so I have three total hydrogens. Moving on to the product side, I have just one PB, so one. There's a two next to this nitrogen, so I have two nitrogen. And then for the hydrogen, I see that I have a two here, so that means two hydrogen. But then there's no subscript after the oxygen, so that means that there's one. Okay. So there's a little trick here, guys. Always leave balancing the elements that are by themselves last. So in this case, I don't really want to necessarily balance PB first or nitrogen, okay? Because those I can always balance at the end. Elements that are by themselves, you could always just balance them quickly at the end. So we have a choice between oxygen and hydrogen. Oxygen is already balanced at the moment, so I'm going to balance the hydrogen. Now, in this case, I can't multiply by 2 by a whole number to get to 3. So in this case, we're just going to swap the numbers. So I'm going to multiply by the other number. I'm going to say 3 times 2 and 2 times 3. They'll both equal to 6. But whatever number that I said to times it by... Those are going to be the coefficients for the compounds that have the hydrogens on both sides. So since I multiplied by 2 here, I'm going to put a 2 here. And since I multiplied by a 3 on the product side, I'm going to get a 3 over on there. But now, you just got to be fair. You have to distribute this 2 to all of the elements in that compound. So the nitrogen and the hydrogen numbers are going to change. I now have 2 nitrogens, and then 2 times the 3 hydrogen, that's what we did before, that's the 6. Doing the same thing for this, 3 times 2, that's the 6 hydrogen, and then I have 3 oxygen, so I'm going to change my oxygen number. Okay, now let's keep going. Keep in mind that, remember, we're balancing lead and nitrogen at the end because... Those are the easiest to balance because they're by themselves. But nitrogen is already balanced and, and lead is already balanced. So the only thing left to do is oxygen at the moment. One times what will get me to three? Yeah, one times three. And whatever number that I stated is now the coefficient that goes in the front. So I'm going to put a three here. But I got to be fair. Now I have to change the number for lead and oxygen. So for each one, looks like I have three lead. So that's a 3, and then I have 3 oxygen, so that's the 3. The only thing left to balance now is the lead. 1 times what will get me 3? Yeah, 1 times 3. That number that you stated is the coefficient. And in this case, I don't have to worry about being fair because it was just lead. So you're done, and this now turns into 3. And now all of the elements are balanced, right? Three leads on both sides, three oxygens on both sides, two nitrogens on both sides, and six hydrogens on both sides. So we're done. So the balanced equation is three PBOs plus two NH3s, which will yield three PBs plus one N2 plus three H2Os. And you are done. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope all is well. And let's keep studying hard, okay? Good luck on your tests and quizzes. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.